Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure, and uh, I think today's lure is going to be an arctic char. I love the colors of it. You know, there's going to be some business on the top and party on the bottom, and uh, I don't think it's going to be too complicated, so let's just get into it. So I hope you don't mind, I've taken the liberty of spraying the entire lure down with titanium white. Next we'll use a titan buff, and we'll spray along the sides and the back. Next we're going to use a, where is it, there you go, Detail Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is basically just a gray mixed with blue. It's a darker color. Spray line the back first. And you don't have to, but I just kind of want to put some detail on the side. Now's a good time to point out that I'm not expecting this to be the main focus of the lure. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. I, I want this to be kind of in the background, uh, barely noticeable. You kind of have to look at it from different angles to appreciate it. Uh, that's kind of what I like to do when I'm building up textures. Uh, just kind of put something in the background, build up over top of it, so that when the light hits it a certain way, or that it's just turned in the water a certain way, it just gives that extra little bit of detail. And I think that's really kind of what gives... Uh, a, a good look is just this very subtleness of of textures once you build up your layers. We'll focus on the head separately. And then we'll kind of go close, far, close, far, just to get a little bit of difference in, in color. We'll get the eyes. Throw a little bit of Payne's Gray on the cheek. Just nice and light. Okay, we're going to be done with the Payne's Gray for now. But I have a feeling we're going to come back to it after. Just to clean things up. So as I already mentioned, Payne's Gray is basically just a gray and a blue. We're going to leverage that blue with some yellow. And then hopefully once that yellow flashes, it'll uh, be a nice little a mellow green. You can already see as it's drying, we're getting a nice little green shade in there. Get some yellow on the lip. Then we have some transparent brown iron oxide. And again, just blend all the colors in. Take your time. No rush. Okay. 
Well, it took four colors, but it was starting to look like something. Still with that uh, brown iron oxide. Just loosely go over top of that yellow now. I think we can probably do some more Payne's Gray on that, uh, on the head right behind the eye here. But you know what? We're not finished building up our brown layer. We'll come back to that, uh, to the Payne's Gray in just a moment. So with the Payne's Gray back in. From just like light dustings. Nicolazzo yellow back in, and then just lightly go over the Payne's gray that was just in there. But that was just applied. So I guess kind of switching back between the Payne's gray, yellow, brown, Payne's gray, yellow. Uh, I think that's kind of highlighting the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, don't feel like you have to, like, for example, you have a bright orange. You can only spray a bright orange. Once it's on, it's on, and that's it. Uh, I'm trying to get across that. You can you can massage the lure, the colors, kind of have them work together, blend together. And if you're not happy with it, just, just go back and add those details and kind of build it up to the level that you want. Spray light layers so that you have that room to to expand. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm trying to get across in this uh, in this video. So you can't really see too well because the light. I'll turn that around. But I've traced the lure, took an X-Acto knife, and basically carved out little holes, little spots. We're going to have some Jacquard transparent white. And... We'll get our first little row of spots. So I was just going to go for the bright orange, but instead I decided to put a little bit of the uh, red iron oxide in. And uh, let's just cover up that. If you haven't noticed, I'm protecting that part right there. That's kind of the whole reason I'm putting this stencil over. It's actually more acting like a shield. So, game day decision. Was going to use bright orange. I figured it might be too bright. What we'll do is we'll use the, the pyrrole orange. Because then we can maybe blend that a little bit easier. And it may be... Yeah, I don't think I want it to dominate the lure. So, as great of a color as bright orange is, we're going to go with the pyrrole instead.
We'll work on some fins now. Painter's tape. I already have my fin stencil. And because the orange is still on the brush, let's put our stencil over top. Oops. Now, I like to spray the fin stencil, mostly because when you take a pen, pencil or a pen or whatever else it is and you start tracing along the outside of the edge, you start to kind of dent up the, the stencil a little bit and it's never quite the same. So just spray through it, cut it out, you can use that many, many times without any issues. Paint's gray. Now we'll use the piece that we cut out. Transparent white back in. with the red iron oxide. Go over top of that bottom part. All right, let's have a look. Sweet. Well, there, there it is before it goes into the sauce. All right, let's dip it. And here we go, finished product. I like how it turned out. I like how all the colors just kind of melded together and really kind of came through. There's that detail in the back, that dark Payne's Gray I was telling you about. How it's not the focus, but it just kind of enhances the overall look. Happy with how it turned out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your week.